The film commences with a ceremonial burial of a peace pipe by a tribe of Osage natives. They mourn the intrusion of white settlers into their territory and foresee the eventual displacement of their descendants. Soon after, a group of men stumbles upon an oil deposit, setting in motion the rise of the Osage as the wealthiest people in the nation, and the subsequent attempts of others to share in their prosperity. Ernest Burkhart, portrayed by Leonardo DiCaprio, arrives in the Osage nation of Oklahoma after World War I. He seeks out his influential uncle, William King Hale, played by Robert De Niro, who has accumulated substantial wealth through various enterprises and his role as a reserve deputy sheriff. Ernest's brother, Byron, also resides in the area. Hale enlightens Ernest about the Osage's wealth and urges him to seize the opportunity to profit from it. In the region, a series of unsolved murders of Osage community members occur, perpetrated by men working under Hale, aiming to wrest control of their fortunes. One woman, Molly Kyle, Lily Gladstone, resides with her mother, Lizzie Q, Tantu Cardinal, while her sisters Anna Brown, Cara Jade Myers, Rita, Janae Collins, and Minnie, Jillian Dion, also live in town. Ernest enters Molly's life when he takes up a job as a cab driver and gradually develops genuine feelings for her, eventually marrying her. During the wedding, Hale notices Minnie's sorrow and speaks with her. Minnie eventually succumbs to a wasting disease that afflicts some of the Osage. Lizzie displays favoritism towards Anna, despite her alcoholism and carrying a concealed firearm. During Minnie's funeral, Lizzie tells Molly about seeing an owl flying into her room, a supposed omen of death. Days later, Anna is discovered murdered with a gunshot wound to the head. Town doctors, who also work for Hale, dismember Anna's body under the pretext of locating the bullet. Hale enlists a group of criminals to carry out the murders, including Blackie Thompson, Tommy Schultz, Henry Grammer, Sturgill Simpson, Kelsey Morrison, Louis Kenselmi, and A.C. Kirby, Pete Yorn. Molly consults a private investigator, William J. Burns, Gary Basaraba, but Hale dispatches Ernest and Byron to assault him in a bid to thwart his investigations. Meanwhile, Ernest becomes involved in criminal activities, including gambling with stolen jewelry taken from Osage victims. He and Molly have three children, Cowboy, Elizabeth, and an infant named after Anna. An Osage council convenes to discuss the murders and potential responses, likening their plight to the Tulsa race riots in the same state. Molly's health deteriorates due to the wasting disease, exacerbated by Ernest, who secretly poisons her insulin for her diabetes. Baby Anna also falls ill with a persistent cough, and Molly refuses to seek traditional medical treatment. In the town, Henry Roan, William Below, Molly's former husband, resigns himself to a grim fate, drinking and lamenting his past mistakes. One of Hale's henchmen lures him out of town before clumsily shooting him in the head, making it appear as a suicide. Hale subsequently berates Ernest for the botched killing, which now unmistakably looks like a murder. Another local, Charlie Whitehorn, Anthony J. Harvey, is discovered dead in a small pool of oil. Lizzie's health deteriorates, and Molly and Rita faithfully remain at her side as she slowly succumbs to her illness. In her final moments, Lizzie seems to perceive elder Osage figures guiding her towards the afterlife. Later, while Ernest and Molly are in slumber, a sudden explosion startles everyone awake. The explosion emanates from Rita's residence, which she shares with her husband, Bill Smith, played by Jason Isbell. Ernest investigates and discovers Bill, severely injured and begging for a merciful end, while Rita lies lifeless with a fatal wound to the back of her head. Ernest returns to his home to convey the grim news to Molly, prompting her to wail in anguish. Molly's health takes a turn for the worse, as she begins to experience hallucinations, including encounters with the same owl her mother once saw. Despite her deteriorating condition, Molly takes it upon herself to journey to Washington, D.C. to personally implore President Calvin Coolidge, portrayed by Mark Landon Smith, to initiate a thorough investigation into the murders. Ernest is later visited by Tom White, played by Jesse Plemons, an agent from the Bureau of Investigation, who inquires about the town's murders. White also interviews Hale, who attempts to feign innocence and ignorance about the killings. Hale tries to conceal his involvement by orchestrating the deaths of some of his men, but White eventually uncovers the truth and apprehends both Ernest and Hale. Molly's health deteriorates to a critical point, requiring the intervention of agents to provide her with proper medical care, allowing her to recover and regain her health. Meanwhile, Ernest exposes himself to some of the toxin during an interrogation. 
Hale's attorney, W.S. Hamilton, depicted by Brendan Fraser, pressures Ernest to claim he was beaten and tortured, preventing him from testifying, with an implicit threat to his family's safety. These lies are also relayed to Molly. Tragically, baby Anna succumbs to whooping cough. White delivers this devastating news to Ernest, which breaks him and prompts him to turn against Hale, deciding to testify against him. During the trial, Ernest converses with prosecutor Leewood, played by John Lithgow, and reveals that his uncle coerced him into committing crimes against the Osage, particularly against Molly and her family, to profit from her wealth. When asked if Hale ordered him to marry Molly to get closer to her, Ernest asserts that he genuinely fell in love with Molly and married her out of love. Molly privately questions Ernest about the substances he injected into her, but he maintains the lie, claiming it was only insulin. This deception leads to Molly's decision to leave him. The film then transitions to a radio show recounting the events, with an epilogue detailing the fates of those involved. Hale is convicted and sentenced to life in prison, and he and Byron eventually obtain parole with the condition that Hale never sets foot in Oklahoma again, although there are reports of sightings. The show's producer, portrayed by Martin Scorsese, steps forward to read Molly's obituary. After divorcing Ernest, she settles down with a new husband and passes away at the age of 50, resting beside her deceased family. The murders remain unmentioned. The final scene transports us to a present-day Osage drum ceremony, where the Osage community comes together to sing and dance, preserving their culture and heritage. Hello.